Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing thrifted fall DIYs. I went to a couple yard sales this summer, uh, Goodwill. I'm gonna show you guys what I put together. Everything was a dollar and under that I picked up, so. first DIY. If you have watched any of my recent fall videos, you realize this is nothing new. I'm using these hexagons along with these napkins and most of these napkins are from Dollar General. If not, all of them are. If they're not, I will let you know, but I want to say they all are from Dollar General and they are one to two dollars for the packs of them. So really inexpensive and they have some beautiful, beautiful napkins. This one was one of my favorites. I use this one the most, but I wanted to make some more pumpkins out of these. I actually recently did a video where I painted them orange, did some chalk tour on top. But for these, I thought these napkins would look so good. And of course, I am using my Elmer's glue stick. And this napkin, it did not cover the entire thing, but that's kind of why I paint everything white to start because the napkins always kind of show whatever is on the other side of that napkin because you tear the plies off and then you have a really thin sheet of, of a napkin. And then the best way to get the excess off, I just use a little bit of sandpaper and it works amazing. Now, if you are new to my channel, I do not like to use Mod Podge when I use napkins. I think that I get a really clean look when it comes to a glue stick and it does hold well. And then now I'm just adding some greenery to the top of both of these little pumpkins and then adding these wooden stems. The greenery it just comes off of florals from Dollar Tree and I just kind of have a pile of these laying around and then these wood stems also came from the Dollar Tree but a couple years ago. I have some of this pip berry or it's just like a beaded garland I think is what Dollar Tree calls it and I just kind of wrapped it around one of the wood stems and I picked that up during the 4th of July. So I think they're more of a 4th of July red, but overall I love these and I think they look really cute next to the other pumpkins I also DIY'd. Last napkin video, I did one of these pumpkins and I loved it and I wanted to do another one, but just a little bit different of colors. So the first thing I did with this one was I painted it white, of course, like I said. There's always like that wood that kind of shows through the napkins and I just wanted this to be completely white on the back side. So white for this one and this little wooden truck came from Walmart that I'm going to be using and I'm using this agave color along with the color ink. This was drying up really bad. This is why I I don't buy huge containers of paint because they just kind of start to dry up a little bit. I kind of added a little bit of water, but it just wasn't having it. I've had this for such a long time, so its days were getting outnumbered for sure. But I painted the truck this color, and then I just went in with that black or ink, if you'd like to uh, be for real, ink black. It's all the same thing. Uh, and then I am also using these thankful letters. The black I colored the tires with or painted the tires with. I don't even know if I said that. I think I just was talking about the color black constantly. Uh, and then the thankful letters came from Hobby Lobby. I found them actually at a garage sale, but they are originally from Hobby Lobby. Painted that agave as well. And of course, I had to use this napkin one more time. I feel like they had something very similar last year or maybe even the previous year. And I just love these when you unfold the napkin. It has pattern on every side. Sometimes there's only a one, like the pattern on just one side of the napkin and the rest is white. But I love when you can like fold the whole thing out and it is completely covered in some sort of pattern. Now I'm just gluing the truck to the bottom along with this thankful sign. And I just kind of added that sideways diagonal on one side and then I'm adding these mums. These are also from Dollar Tree. And then I just cut that greenery apart and then just added it along the edges of the florals. to give this truck a little bit of something, I just decided to go ahead and dry brush and I wanted to add pumpkins to this. Totally forgot to add pumpkins. So if you want to recreate this in some sort of way, add some pumpkins to the back of your truck. It was the whole reason why I wanted to put this together. And then honestly, just now I realized I didn't add those pumpkins. So 
go ahead and do that <laughs> if you recreate this one. This next one, I'm using these tags. These were left over from Christmas last year. I probably picked them up after Christmas. I like to get everything when it's like 25 cents at Dollar General. I don't know if you guys ever get to do that sale, but I think I picked these up for 25 cents, originally a dollar from Dollar General, and I'm using one of these pumpkin napkins. I am so out of focus or out of the whole viewfinder and I don't know what happened there, but I fixed it. This is what this one looks like. I loved that pumpkin one. It's also from Dollar General this year. I grabbed some twine, wrapped it around the edge, and that is actually all I did for this one. And I decided to go ahead and do one more and I really didn't do anything with these. I really loved the pattern of these napkins. And this one is also from Dollar General. And these ones were only a dollar for the package. I probably have a thousand napkins. And I think I just need to use them for like what they're supposed to be used for before I go and buy like more paper towels or something like that. Uh, I think I'm just a napkin hoarder at this point. Uh, but I love this leaf one. I thought this one was really pretty as well. And then I just put this along the edge of the tag and then I cut it down just a little bit. So when it dried, I was able to sand the edges down. But this is what these two look like. I think they are so pretty. DIY. I'm just using one of these wooden crates. I'm not even sure why I showed two unless I had a really great idea and then just never fell through with it or I totally forgot what it was. But we're going to be making some faux books. I want to use this napkin once again. The cool thing about napkins is that you can use them multiple times. It doesn't matter. I don't really have all of these sitting around the same area in my home anyways. So even if you did use the same pattern, it's totally okay. You paid that $1 for those napkins or $2 for those napkins. You might as well use more than one. So I'm wrapping some twine around the top and then I'm just tying it off. You did see some words there. I try to use some rub on transfers from Dollar Tree. I was trying to make it like on a budget type video for this. And I don't know why I thought love, peace, and joy was going to work for me. I added some leaves to the top of this faux leaves and this little pumpkin sticker which i've had for years i think it is from hobby lobby i had to take those words off i end up sanding repainting and then adding some actual fall words and i start off with hay rides and i put it in the center because i wanted my words to be in alphabetical order so i decided to cut out corn maze hay rides and pumpkins because I think those are just a few of my favorite things in the fall time. one is probably the easiest one. Grab one of these houses from Dollar Tree, a glue stick of course. And I know this may be repetitive, but I feel like if I miss a step, it just will sound weird to put the whole thing together. So once the glue is on, I am just lining up the napkin to where I want it. I knew the pumpkins were going to be cut off, but I wanted it to be in the center and that's it. Glued, waited for dry go ahead and sanded it down and there you have it. I like that you can see the little like shiplap like cracks in the house. I think this turned out perfect. I love this one. This one, I wanted to make a pumpkin. I think I made pumpkins out of these last year. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe somebody else did. I'm not sure. I want to say that I did them. I'm not saying that I created that whole fad, but I think I did. Painted them, whatever. Uh, 
But I decided to use a napkin for this one and obviously glue stick, cut it all down. And like I said, this is like my favorite napkin. I had to use this one multiple times, grabbing one of those wood stems. And then I tore this apart multiple times uh, because I was adding leaves. I didn't like it. I was adding the bow and then the leaf on top. It just wasn't working. So I like changed this up multiple times. The leaf is obviously from Dollar Tree. This bow is from Hobby Lobby. And then this little faux tag or like this faux leather tag is from Hobby Lobby last year. It's the best time to buy things when the season is over and everything is on clearance. And then I just added that all to the top. I think this one is so so cute, of course. Uh, but you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.